crying, the voices, and the creaking in Shinonuma. This is the sound that means Sam is here. Back on track now. Dr. Richthofen needing not only his work, but wanting to kill the abomination he created, Samantha, returns to Darice with Tank, Takio, and Nikolai. A little background on Tank. He is a man who is one of the toughest SOBs around. He survived the war, but was when MIA, he seemed to have been picked by Group 935 for experiments, which is why he went MIA. Takio, a self-righteous man who will give his life in a moment for his honor. Takio has had parts of his memory wiped from his mind thanks to the effects of 115. Richtofen knows how this works and how to use it. Nikolai, one of the darkest men to live, he married five wives to help him travel through the ranks and become a commanding officer in the Soviet Union. When other officers saw his growing power, they sent him to the front lines and he wallowed in his misery by drinking. These men were experimented on, but I want you to understand they weren't injected with items or genetically altered. It was exposure to 115. This is the reason they have a background memory but they are missing parts of their memory just before they met Richthofen. This was on purpose, so they wouldn't remember anything about Group 935. Now for the main event, Doris. Doris, as stated, means the giant. The giant referred to the giant project, which is the teleporters. Dr. Richthofen, Tank, Takio, and Nikolai teleport from Chinonuma to Doris and are greeted by an onslaught of zombies and hellhounds. The monkey bomb comes into play in this map. The monkey bomb was a beloved toy of Samantha and Richtoff and created the TNT wind-up monkey out of Samantha's toy. Since there was a connection between Samantha and the monkey bomb, the zombies swarm it because of this. Hellhounds ignore the monkey bomb, and this could be because the hellhounds were even closer to Samantha than the symbol monkey was. Those are just some ideas. It could just be for the sake of the game. As our heroes explore Doris, they start to uncover the story mentioned earlier about Samantha. Dr. Richtofen also learns that Samantha doesn't seem to be a real person anymore, but more of a being or an existence, like the wind. As the hordes become too much for our heroes, they start to get backed up into a teleporter. Now, the theatrical trailer, it shows them dying. We know they all didn't die, and Treyarch still hasn't released a trailer for zombies since Map Pack 3 from World at War. As they get backed up into the teleporter, it seems all of our heroes are at a demise, even with Dr. Richtofen's greatest creation in hand, the Wonder Waffle DG2. Our heroes teleport and are ripped through time and thrown into the future during the Cold War. If you listen to the new radios in the Black Ops version of Shinonuma, you will hear the quick soundbite revealing what happened. Before we leave Doris, I want to touch on some Easter egg R. There are Illuminati notes and symbols around the maps, and when decoded, courtesy of Treyarch's key, the notes read, Edward, it's time to kill Maxis, zombies, and Teddy. The nursery rhyme, Ken is back again by Juggernaut, and once again reminds you of Sam's presence. The radios found by the teleporter on the ladder is one of the receivers of the distress signal call from Peter and Veruk. This group 935 scientist then kills himself when the zombie outbreak happens and kills everyone at the facility. Two victims can be found, one hanging by Max's quarters and one in the vat by Teleporter B. Now we get teleported through time to Kino der Toten, or Theater of the Dead. That's the real translation. Samantha went dormant, or followed our heroes through time, to the place where she grew up. Samantha, from what we can assume, spent time both at Doris and Kino. In Kino der Toten, you have the chance to see her room and what happened after she was mutated. The teddy bear now becoming Samantha's main connection to the real world and infested in Kino. There are three reels and two radios in Kino you find out about the testing that occurred, which is why their place was destroyed. 
anyone involved in Group 935 in the 115 experience will die by Samantha's will. So, as our heroes leap through time, Samantha did some damage, but nothing compared to what our heroes go through with the theater in ruins. Our heroes fight until Dr. Richtoff can remember what this facility was used for besides the massive presentation delivered to their government for funding. As seen in the billboard in Doris, the new zombies are failed human experiments that Maxis worked with when he got his hands on Nova 6. Nova 6, the Germans really sped up their testing until they ended up being overrun. Again, our heroes seem to have been beaten or have conquered the undead in the theater. We're not sure yet. Dr. Richthofen finds what he was looking for, the Lunar Lander. Just an idea before they teleported, it was finished before they arrived and Samantha took over. They all got on and went to the last program destination, Ascension. An abandoned Russian cosmodrome. This is the place where Samantha manifested herself after a scientist named Yuri found the book that contained all research of 115. Samantha slowly took over his mind throughout the six known radios in Ascension. And the first one we are introduced to Gersh. He is the lead scientist at this facility and they were working on Project Mercury which was the Gersh device. Yuri, who was working with the other scientists on this project, helps them by leaps and bounds because of his secret knowledge from the book of 115. If Richtofen gets a Gersh device, he will occasionally say, Who is Gersh? It should be the Richtofen device. This leads me to believe Richtofen left his book in the past where Group 935 or the Illuminati got it and got through the hands until it reached Yuri. Now I wanted to just take a second and step aside to tell people why this is taking place at a Russian cosmodrome. The reason being is the scientists are still Group 935. Officially, they were disbanded after the war. Many of them continued into their research. Yuri seems to have found the book from Richthofen, which is the dark arts, if you will. When Yuri is transferred to work on the spacecraft, or the rocket, he is enraged, as you can hear in the second radio. Yuri works with the space monkeys to ensure a safe landing to beat America in the space race. At the end of this message, he finds Matryoshka dolls. These were altered by Sam. They are like the monkey bombs. They talk and are shaped as our characters. Yuri then starts to find child's toys like the teddy bear all around. Samantha's main conduit to life. She slowly takes over Yuri as he continues his experiments with 115 on the space monkeys. The next radio describes Gersh and his scientists approaching the end of Project Thunder, which is the Thunder Gun, originally developed in Kino, but perfected in Ascension. He also notes Yuri's new hostility towards everyone and how he mumbles to himself. Then the fifth radio you hear Yuri being overtaken by Samantha. The 115 gives her the power since Yuri was working so closely with it. The final radio, Gersh is approached by Yuri, who seems to have finished the Gersh device and sucks Gersh into the portal. This portal seems to lead to where Samantha resides. When Dempsey throws the Gersh device, he says, Say hi to Samantha. Sound for me! You also hear Samantha spawn something similar to the Hellhounds or power-up spawns in the radio. Yuri then realizes what he has done and is mortified. From there, there is no clear image of what happened if Yuri made it out safe or Samantha took control of him. The development of all the weapons carried through the maps because of the book. Pack-a-Punch is under the rocket, which was Yuri's workplace. Yuri continued the development of Pack-a-Punch. In Ascension, there is a massive Easter egg, referred to as the Mystery Man Easter egg or Save Me from Sam. This starts with Gersh, which I think, talking, asking to repair the mechanism as soon as you spawn. This is the node mechanism. You then from there throw the Gersh device by generator outside the map which gets sucked into the portal which goes to Gersh in Samantha's dimension. That starts the easter egg. From there on you go to the junkyard or Omega Greek symbol and activate the computer under the stairs. Node 1 is active. Then Gersh talks to you telling you to activate three more nodes which are pressing four buttons in, on a monkey round standing on a pressure pad in front of the pack a punch for one minute and spelling Luna using the lunar landers. Then you take the Gersh device, pack a punch ray gun, thunder gun, and Matryoshka dolls and throw them all at a light on the ground which opens a portal and frees Gersh or so we think. This easter egg is not over whatsoever and there is more to it. Some say that the death machine means you have achieved too much power and you have failed and there is much more to it and you do not need to free 
Gersh or could possibly be Yuri. That's all open for Spike. You then hear Samantha scream, which turns out the color for a second again. This shows the amount of power she has. So that's my theory on everything so far. Samantha needs to be stopped to stop the zombies. The only way to do that is for Samantha's being to be destroyed or everyone involved to be killed. A small little girl caused this massive problem. Thanks for watching and tell me your thoughts on this. Goodbye. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network. And here you can create subscriptions for individual games and only receive notifications for new videos uploaded for the games that you are subscribed to. Isn't that fantastic? No more spam video email notifications. And stay in touch with us on our full featured forums. Remember, all the relevant links are always in the description of our videos. Click on them. Come join us on our website. We'll see you there.